I'm Craig Lancaster with Molly Motorsports and one of the big things we've got going on in the sprint car market uh, that we've been working on a uh, transitioning a little bit last year but this year we're going to full swing we're moving uh, everything to a one millimeter one millimeter two millimeter ring pack so on all our 360 410 pistons that ring pack will be available here you can see a comparison piston model over here we've got the older ring pack with a big noticeable difference being the three millimeter oil ring groove and over here we've got the new one millimeter top and second and two millimeter oil ring grooves so one of the big differences that you can see here is with the smaller ring grooves and smaller ring pack, we're able to bring that top ring groove down and have it uh, increase uh, a thicker layer up here on the fire land. So also, on some of the shorter compression height parts, like this one being inch 125, uh, they used to be, have an interrupted oil ring groove. So moving to this new smaller ring pack, we're now able to take uh, some of the shorter compression height parts and now make them uninterrupted, as you can see here. The new ring pack is all steel. It's got a Napier second ring, so it's a racier ring pack there. We've had good results. We've been testing it for, for years. We've been running it in other higher forms of racing series for years with great results, and so we brought it to the sprint car market. We've seen some nice horsepower gains. With this ring pack, there will be uh, increased conformability to the cylinder bore. There will be decreased resistance as well. So. Overall, it's just a racier ring package, and we think the sprint car market will really like it. Hi, I'm Bill McKnight with Molly Aftermarket Inc. I work with Craig, and you just saw Craig seconds ago talking about the new one millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeter oil ring, uh, our piston ring lineup on the uh, sprint car piston. And Craig asked me if I would elaborate a little bit more about the materials. He mentioned the top and second ring are both steel, and that's correct. Matter of fact, they're steel rings made in our plant in St. John's, Michigan. You might find it interesting, we make 9 million compression rings a month in St. John's, Michigan. So it's a big operation there. And currently, roughly 60% of that production is steel. So about 5.5 million steel rings a month. So we have pretty good practice and pretty good experience making the rings. Now the rings on this sprint car piston that Craig talked about, the top ring, is a Molly application called HVOF, High Velocity Oxygen Fueled. And what's going on there, we're actually shooting particles of Molly and some other materials in a gun through a stream of jet fuel at a speed faster than the speed of sound. And these particles coming through that gun at that high velocity actually hit the steel ring face. The rings are stacked up in a cylinder. This is inside, of, by the way, of a big machine. They hit that ring face with such impact that they literally penetrate the steel in the ring face. So the bond on an HVOF ring is far superior to any Molly ring we've ever manufactured before. Now the second ring is a Napier steel second ring. And the Napier steel second ring, if you're not familiar with it, it has a little scraper groove or a hook on the bottom of it. And the reason for that is the second ring, primary job for second ring is to control oil, scrape oil down off the cylinder wall. Matter of fact, in the ring business, we call the oil ring gross oil control, and we call the second ring fine oil control. So a Napier second ring does a very good job controlling oil, and that's the purpose. We always tell our customers, if you're counting on the second ring to seal compression, you got big problems problems because we need to keep the compression up above the top ring not let it get down to the second ring. Now let's switch to bearings for a minute. Many of you may know me I've been with uh, Clevite for 36 years and I've been the bearing guy for probably the last 20 or so so I'm at racetracks and events all over the country anything from land speed record racing to tractor pulling to drag racing to sprint cars and midgets to whatever I can find a weekend for you to do and what I wanted to share with you is the fact that I uh, often many of you run Clevite bearings in your engines and some of you do your own work so you're tearing the engine down and you're looking at the bearing and you're saying man this looks a little strange I'm not sure why it looks this way and it'd be nice to have somebody like me that looks at bearings every day to take a look at that bearing for you and tell you yeah this is what we think's going on or no nah, it's nothing to worry about this is what it is etc so while you're here I thought I would share with you how to reach me and uh, nowadays we do a lot of digital photographs everybody's got a you know an iPhone or some sort of a phone and you can take pretty good photographs of your bearings and send them to me that way you can reach me at uh, Molly at Bill dot mcknight m c k n i g h t at u s dot molly dot com send your picture send your phone number and say hey this is what i ran into what do you think's going on and i will generally within twenty four hours i'll be back to you and call you on the phone we'll talk about what i see and we'll go from there 
appreciate the opportunity to see you. Thanks again for coming to MPMC 2017.